Okay, so I'm going to be in this video, I was asked a question and I'll be talking a little bit about uh, money and uh, income and uh, food and exercise and um, and doing the Course in Miracles and then finding I have a lot of uh, finding that one has a lot of peace, but is is so so maybe so relaxed uh, that, that the internal pressure to make sure one does the work and does the exercise and even feeling relaxed around food. So I want to talk around that. Now, the Course in Miracles, I mean, I think that it says on the book, a foundation for inner peace. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's, uh, I have to look in the appendixes if it promises great wealth and athleticism. Um, uh, I'm just making a joke there, but, um, but I do understand it. So a um, few things, I could actually talk quite a lot. It was such a lovely question that I could talk probably several hours on different topics on that. Now the ego, um, the ego usually has a picture, or at least I'm sharing from my own experience, a picture of what it thinks I, our life should be, how much money one should have, how thin one should be. I definitely had it. I wrote it in my book, Bulletproof Peace. You know, uh, um, but definitely some of the ones I had, I call them beliefs or programs, which uh, create ego distress in me or fear or anger or grievance. Like you should be thinner. Um, that food is bad for you. Don't eat it. Um, you have to be much more successful and have much more money and wealth than you do now. Uh, and all kinds of fears and things. Will, uh, uh, so they, those for me are, there's a Course in Miracles lesson says, I'm only affected by my thoughts. So you could say that only my thoughts can block peace. I mean, what thoughts, I mean, the, of course, uh, the thoughts that create non-peace or agitation or fear or not enough or you're not good enough or are, of course, ego thoughts. So I'm being affected. Like if suddenly a, a thought, uh, ident identify with a thought that says, Sabir, you haven't got enough money. Uh, Sabir, you're too fat. Sabir, you shouldn't have eaten that cream cake. And then I feel fear or distress or anger. That's what I call a, a not peace, the infinite peace that's always here. That, that, that's a, an ego thought creating, I call it duality or conflict or, or non-peace or form even, all words. I mean, the course says, finally, it's formless, timeless, beyond duality. I would say that there's no experience of a separation distress, or you could say ego distress being the, the experience of separation from total peace right now. So I'm identifying or latching to, and, and I call, I mean, I think the course would agree, I call them beliefs, but it's thoughts. Uh, belief, I'd say, is a thought that's very important or very meaningful. Like, I must be thin, I must be this weight, um, that food is bad, oh, I ate it, I'm bad. Um, so, oh, I'm bad, I haven't got enough money, how am I going to live? So um, <clears throat> doing the Course in Miracles will bring peace and will bring up layers of the ego. Like, hey, if you just get peaceful around exercise, you're not going to exercise, you know. <laughs> if you're going to get peaceful around all food, you might eat. You might start eating food. Now, <clears throat> there is a clever way around this. Is it's investigation of what are the belief systems and thoughts, because often uh, with destructive, uh, destructive things like, I don't know. I was definitely a food addict. So, I mean, when in connection with the Holy Spirit or the Infinite Peace or Enlightenment or the uh, Holy Instant, yes, um, is one going to be drawn to eating 100 chocolate cakes is that coming out of the divine i mean the holy instant is whole <clears throat> so actually hunger excessive hunger craving fear uh, all of those things are gone you could say there's an infinite peace and trust that all we provided for if the, if, we, if that's if that if that stillness could speak it would probably say something like this you don't need to think or worry about the future or have any thoughts about money or survival or the body because the, this, shall we say, vibratory field will take care of all needs. But often there are beliefs like um, one can associate um, what I call the attractions of the versions to certain things like, uh, so there can be beliefs around food or food can be used, it's more unconscious, like a distraction or a comfort 
Um, and so one has to then investigate, um, investigate. Um, now doing the course, you can do it on excessive craving or unhealthy behaviors, or you can uh, pray for a miracle to find out what are the belief systems that are leading to, to finances, or, you know, for, I call it poverty consciousness or ill health. Um, <clears throat> is there some, you know, like sometimes one might be eating because one hasn't forgiven the family or one hasn't forgiven work or have forgiven society and the beliefs around money. Um, so you have to investigate from your own belief systems, the, the ones your parents gave from the collective. <clears throat> like, is there a collective belief system that unless you're earning £50,000 a month or a year, I should say, um, that you're worthless? You know, that could be a belief system that's operating. And so you'll get what I call ego distress, this kind of uh, thought, you're not earning enough money. Um, so the ultimate thing to realize is the, um, the connection to that infinite love, the holiness, the holy instant is actually the source of survival. This is a great thing because the ego has belief systems like the more fearful I am, the better I'm going to do. That's actually a belief from the ego. Feel fear and worry about the future. <laughs> you know, the more you worry about the future and worry what other people are going to think of how fat or thin I am. And the more I, I also, food has got many belief systems like chocolate cakes will make you very fat very quickly. That's a belief from the collective or anyone who eats ch a chocolate cake is bad. Or, um, but sometimes one can be having excess food because one has unforgiveness and one can, just can't stop eating the chocolate cakes because I refuse to forgive um, politicians, for example. And so sometimes when you forgive, or cancel your belief around money or food or, or bad behaviors or thoughts. Thoughts about, I have to be a certain way. You have to investigate, ask the Holy Spirit to show you the thoughts you need to dissolve, uh, which create conflict. Um, when you see advanced spiritual people, they, they, have, they don't actually need to, I would say, have personal thoughts. There's infinite trust that this experience of oneness, of infinite peace, is, uh, it always takes care of every need because one is not going to the ego for control and, and safety mechanisms. Like I must make, like as a food addict, I'd make sure I have enough food because I didn't trust, you know, what, what happened if the, if the supermarket closed down tomorrow, I didn't have enough food or, uh, oh my goodness, my Netflix subscription might stop. You know, I must make sure I have enough money. So uh, or if it's like uh, attracting a mate or looking good, you know, I must be this weight or, or else um, no one will love me. So these are the kind of thoughts. Um, sometimes there's repressed feelings, which I'd classify. Um, uh, you can clear it with the course. You don't need to do that. But there can be repressed anger, fear, shame uh, and, and belief systems associated with it, which are causing destructive. You have to fish out the beliefs. And if there's a repression going on to uh, release those to, the, to, to be uh, healed, if you like, for atonement to oneness. Um, ultimately, for me, I do trust that when one is one with the holy instant, um, actually, my experience has been in those sublime states, everything is taken care of. There's no need to plan for the future or think. Everything magically, miraculously happens as a spontaneous unfoldment, almost like the infinite it takes care of every need because the ego is not there trying to um, put its editorial on what needs to happen and how it needs to happen and and and, and its, its prior um, individual belief systems and the belief systems it's identified with from the collective. Um, okay, so I think that, but that was such a lovely question I could go on. 